This is a short, easy version of the solution of the Easter Island statues. Look and you yourself will see it easy as a child could. It's a visual, a visual science, ideogram, pictogram, etc. Only real. Easter Island sits in the Pacific as does the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is all around the Pacific. It is a vast array of volcanic activity and volcanoes, some dormant, some active in the hundreds. More. I have added video content, but simple deductive reasoning would suffice. Here we have the Ring of Fire, a circle of volcanoes, active and dormant. Now we have Easter Island, upon which giant stone statues made of volcanic material sit. By the hundreds, they surround the outer edges of the island and all face inward, making a volcanic circle. All except the seven Ahu Akibi statues standing in a small row staring directly into the Pacific Ocean's ring of fire. Telling you where to look. Some of the volcanoes of the ring of fire are dormant and some are active. Active volcanoes have lava at their tops around the edges and some lava shoots up. The Easter Island statues are all made of volcanic rock and look the basic color of rock, gray, except the ones topped with red hats, made also from volcanic material. Red stone circles with smaller red shoots coming out of the top like little active volcanoes. So here we have a circle of volcanic figures, some with red shooting hats, some dormant, with that one set of seven staring directly into the Pacific Ring of Fire, as if to say, look, look there, and you will find a circle of volcanoes, the Ring of Fire. There is this also. Ancient civilizations used hieroglyphs in speech, obviously Egypt, but others as well. Hieroglyphs, pictograms of the Rebus principle, ideograms, basically using a visual to convey a message. Rapa Nui, Easter Island, is, only, is the only island in all of the Pacific where ancient hieroglyphs were found. <clears throat> so basically, in their own language, written in stone is a message that tells us to look to that ocean to find the Ring of Fire a giant volcanology pictogram, just like the one we found in Egypt and put in our other video all the details. Giza Pyramid was once a giant volcanic structure coated in reflectivity, making it volcanic mirror. Volcanic mirror is a science of volcanology where a supervolcano creates a reflective vapor shield in the stratosphere surrounding Earth and dropping its temperatures. Thus, with both of these wonders of the world, we have a giant science volcanology pictograms, where the visual itself is also the exact science and the answer. These are not simply theories. They are exact in connecting sciences of volcanology to the languages used, and easily translated by the simple visuals into any country's volcanology since the visual is the answer as well as the science. The Pyramid of Giza's pictogram actually battles 2012 and global warming, which gives it purpose, extreme purpose. So we have two exact sciences and messages connected by language and volcanology with structures no science of today can explain the complexities thereof. These two simple solutions prove they knew extensive volcanology because that is necessary to solve the message. But once you do know that, it's very simple. Like a parable directed at specific scientists, you must know the exact science in order to garner the answer. I personally started this when I started studying supervolcanoes, specifically Yellowstone, then Sumatra, 
and began thinking that we could use that technology to cool the planet. Once I understood the volcanology enough, then I could see the pictogram when I looked at the pictograms when I looked at them. They were simple to me then, once I understood. Technology today is wonderful. So thank you and I hope you enjoy this video. If you are interested in the second video, the first video actually, but another video showing the pictogram of the volcanic mirror solving Giza pyramid, then you can go to one of my other videos. I started out not knowing what I was doing, so I had to gradually bring it up. Um, this is not a video game solution. This is not a video game. This is the real solution to Easter Island, and the other is the real solution to Giza Pyramid. Written in stone, like the Tablets of Moses, in their language, and in Giza's case, instance, to, sa to save the world from warming. I think they're wonderfully interesting structures, and I'm very glad that I learned these things. Thank you. I and my family, thank you very much in perusing our article, our video.